these are angels babies so they're let's see they were born on the 25th of january and it's now the third so it's nine days old they don't have their eyes open they just lay around and sleep yet not much to say about personality oh no no eyes open yet one with the white paws and darker gold that's a cutie of course i just love all them look at them beautiful babies the two over here these are the two girls and then the rest are all boys so here you have a this one has that beautiful cafe au lait color coat with like the frosted tips so you only have two that are really the uh wavy coats so those two have the wavy coats a little boy and a big boy and then the rest are all pretty much just the curly, the wavy, like a thick shag. It just makes them look more fluffier because it makes their fur stand up more. So they don't do much at this age yet other than squirm around. Look at those little babes. Yeah. Kind of scoot around. Mom does all the work. She keeps them clean. Good mommy. She keeping you all clean and bed and see other than the one tiny boy they're all pretty much close to the same size that hunter green ribbon boy they're moving around he's the little one sure I have the camera upside down, but figure that out. Look at that one. Falling asleep. You big fat boy, look at that big fat belly. Oh, big fat belly. He's the one with the yellow ribbon that just fell over. Rolled over. <laughs> got the little hunter ribbon boy he's, he's crawling underneath to stay warm puppies cannot conserve their own body heat until they're over three weeks old so that's why they uh, stay in a pile to stay warm so if they're uh, if they're scattered about it usually means they're too warm And then if they're cuddling up together in a pile trying to get under each other, then they're a little cold, which is probably that little one right now. Because they're in my office. And in the maternity ward, the floor is heated to 98 degrees, so they're always comfortable. They don't get chilled or anything, so... Uh, they're used to that nice warm floor. So in here, we just have the conventional electric heater and uh, that I'm laying them on a fluffy blanket so they're not as warm as what they're used to. So we have a maternity ward here just for moms when they have their puppies. Then once they're weaned, the puppies move to a different building where it's just the puppies. So they are gradually introduced to new sounds, other puppies, other dogs run through there, my grandchildren. I like to gradually introduce the dogs to uh, different environments because uh, you can overstimulate a puppy by just throwing too much at them at one time. So here they go through their steps. You know, they start out with early stimulation. They're held every day. You rub their faces and ears and paws and stomachs and you hold them on their back. That's the early stimulation routine. Gets them used to uh, being held and used to different people. And Then 
My granddaughter that's in kindergarten, I mean, carries them around from birth. And then the one that's in fourth grade, she does a very good job on the early stimulation, too. Because she understands the routine. And she can put them through the whole routine when she gets home from school. Or gets off the bus here, anyway. See the one with the orange ribbon? He's on the concrete saying, this is chilly. Yeah, i got to get back on that nice warm blanket. So he'll scoot back over there and join the rest of his brothers. You can't go to sleep when your belly's cold, right? They usually start opening their eyes after they turn two weeks old. Stay warm, huh? So these, you know, six of them are just that medium gold color. And the other two are like the Cafe LA. Cafe LA is actually a poodle color, so genetically harder to produce, so we only get a few of those a year. Always excited to see that color. Thank you. 